This might be the worst calculus I've ever seen in my life. This is due to lack of brushing and taking care of your teeth, guys. Jeez. That is a very severe case of calculus, though. This is like someone who's not brushing or flossing for a very many, many years. This is probably 10 years, if not even more, worth of calculus. Because it's not normal for this kind of buildup. And guys, if you guys want more tips about how to help prevent this calculus buildup in your mouth, stay tuned for the end towards the end of the video because I will be giving tips on this. All right, so here you guys get to see a big chunk of calculus. This is a huge, this is not normal again, guys. This is probably another 10 years of buildup. And you can see how the dentist is taking it away. You know, this calculus is formed in layer per layer per layer per layer over time. So it takes a lot of effort and time to get rid of it. Oh, man. Take a look at that black line calculus? right by the gum line. They're using a scaler up and underneath the gum tissue to remove what might surprise you. Keep your eye on it. It's a piece of tartar. No Which is calculus. Tartar, calculus, and yes, below the gums, it, it does turn black. Uh, but calculus, as you guys can see in the other videos, it's usually yellow, usually an orange yellow tone. So this is interesting. Normally tartar is a white or yellow color, but when it's underneath the gum line, it turns brown like this. These pieces are actually hard like little barnacles. Remember to floss your teeth. Look at how, like, if you flossed, you probably would not be getting them. If you floss and brush your teeth, good, right? So this is very interesting to see, guys. This is what happens. So here's the video showing you guys calculus buildup and how the dentist removes it or a dental hygienist. Uh, yeah, you, they're using a Cavitron here, which is a machine that's very, very powerful, that vibrates very intensely. And you, you want to stay above the gum line um, because this, this instrument will will hurt, <laughs> will damage, cause a lot of damage. But as you can see here, that's how they do it. They just go on that calculus. Um, you can use this instrument on your tooth, the enamel part of your tooth. Um, it should be okay because the enamel is very, very strong. Cavitron doesn't really affect it as easily as compared to the other layer, dentin, which is a lot softer. But yeah, this is what a dentist will have to do to your teeth if you don't brush your teeth. <laughs> Calculus versus stains. This one here, they have some staining there. Probably, maybe a smoker, I'm not sure. But look at this calculus. You see that tooth wiggling? That This is what happens with calculus. Calculus is like a bacteria formation that combines with your saliva and the calcium that our body naturally releases in our saliva glands. And it hardens. It becomes so hard like this that it causes inflammation, uh, causes redness, and it's just bacteria being harbored there. So eventually, bone loss will be caught. Will, will happen if you don't go to the dentist and get this removed. Um, as you guys can see here, tooth is wiggling. Why is the tooth wiggling? Bone loss. I don't know if they have, but if you have a tooth wiggling, guys, from calculus, it's not a good sign. <laughs> so, so brush your teeth, floss. If you guys made it this far, so far, halfway in the video, consider subscribing for more videos like this and follow my Instagram guy to follow me on my day-to-day -day life. So yeah. Oh my goodness. Even dogs, bro. Oh, my, look at that calculus on the dog. Dude, my boy ain't brushing his teeth. <laughs> now guys, seriously. Uh, yeah, the do this dog is cute. But unfortunately, not brushing your teeth. So this is an example for everyone here who's watching this. Brush your teeth. <laughs> oh yeah. This is another another place showing you guys. So why am I? Sh I'm showing you this because look at there, right there. As you guys can see right there, right here, there is is called gum recession. Another cause from calculus. When you have calculus, like I mentioned before, right? You can get bone loss from it. When you have bone loss, your gum will also recede because it, it it's attached to the bone, or at least like most of it is there are some free gingiva and stuff but yes this is what happens when you have bone loss you get gum recession and gum recession just means uh, bone loss and it also just means that your tooth is loose and it also could possibly mean that you probably may have periodontal disease so you want to get examined by your dentist um and make sure you don't have it because if you have periodontal disease guys it is not reversible and unfortunately uh, it's so it's so sad when people have it but uh, it causes teeth loss. You just lose teeth over time, and it's unfortunate. Oh, gosh. Wow. This is a, a hefty amount of calculus. Mm -mm -mm. So the reason why this calculus is so intensely here, this is also the mandibular, the bottom portion of your mouth, is because we got salivary glands right here. Um, so 
it's just a lot of calcium release and it's a pretty common area to actually get calculus a heavily calculus build up in this area this is what happens during a cleaning our hygienists take an instrument that sprays water and vibrates and they remove what's called calculus or tartar this is a very common area behind your lower bottom teeth to get a lot of tartar this is yep that's how it goes guys they use a machine called cavitron there's also periodontal instruments not just cavitron but yeah your cavitron is the most amazing thing to use so i highly recommend using that by a professional um and yeah get that cleaned me 20 minutes before my dentist appointment <laughs> come on guys raise your hand if you've done this i know you're watching this video oh my gosh i've done this so many times growing up as a as a kid and teenager guys even an adult bro still be brushing my teeth hard <laughs> brush your teeth if you don't this is what happens your teeth will fall out like the shark it's the same thing that we're going on with, with this video Calculus can lead to bone loss, which leads to periodontal disease, which is just not good. And don't be brushing it so hard. You don't want to brush too hard to the point where you're actually damaging your own teeth. So you want to brush lightly, light pressure, 45 degree angle towards the gingiva, towards like the teeth there, and just brush two minutes, twice a day minimum. <laughs> When you don't brush your teeth, plaque sits on your gum line and eventually turns into this calcified rock material called tartar, which is what they're removing here. This causes gingivitis and periodontal disease. Boom! He mentioned gingivitis and periodontal disease. Yes, calculus does lead to those things. Uh, for example, gingivitis is the early stage. Gingivitis, guys, is just when your gums are inflamed. It's caused by not brushing, not flossing. Uh, your gums are bleeding. Sometimes you ask, like, oh, I go to the dentist and my gum is bleeding because the dentist is touching it, right? But, like, that's actually gingivitis, most likely. Uh, I don't know, have to examine your mouth. Gingivitis is reversible, unlike periodontal disease. Gingivitis is not bone loss, so you will not lose teeth during this stage. But if you continue to have gingivitis for a prolonged time, it will turn into periodontal disease, most likely. And that is when you have bone loss, and that is when you lose your teeth. And that is when it's irreversible. Nothing will fix it. At least according to research as of today, there is nothing that can reverse um, periodontal disease. And this is why me, future dentist, not yet, highly recommends you guys brush your teeth and floss twice a day. As promised, the tips to help avoid with this calculus. One is brush your teeth twice a day. Twice a day for two minutes. You want to brush them, guys. That's the best way to avoid this calculus. Another way is flossing. I know it's so simple, guys. But flossing, flossing is important. <laughs> so do it because <laughs> you don't want this. Trust me. Uh, another thing is, is get toothpaste that has tartar. Uh, you'll see that helps prevent tartar. Yes, those things are actually good and they actually do help prevent to an extent. They're not going to be, they're not, they're not like a magic toothpaste that's never going to let you get tartar or calculus. You're going to have to put in your own work, which is brushing and flossing. And also the best, the other best tip that I can tell you is please visit your dentist twice a year if you can't do that then at least once a year but the recommended is twice a year every six months go to your hygienist get them cleanings done because that will be the best way for you at least one of the best ways to help prevent without further ado guys please subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram and i'll see you on the next one and also don't forget to smile